Hello everyone and welcome back to some more of Grounded. So, it is the beginning of a brand new day or more like a night actually. I can barely see a thing, I have noticed just for the record that uh, what I see on screen is a lot darker than what you see in the footage so uh, just bear in mind I can only see up to about that line right here, a little bit of that reflection there and everything else is pure black so it's very concerning regarding potential spiders and any other threats, I guess if I see the grass move, that'll be my telltale sign. Otherwise, it is time to- <gasps> Jesus Christ! <sighs> Screw you. It is time to build. And maybe prevent things like that happening as well. It is time to build. So, let's have a looky look then. I've only really got these items here. It seems like uh, foundations aren't really a thing. However, flooring, ceiling, I'm not sure about that. There's this triangular wall here, which really implies it'd be like a sloped ceiling or a sloped roof. But uh, no, nothing yet. The walls cost four grass planks each and the half walls cost two. The half walls are, I mean, that's good against like the ants or the little small ones, but oh, Jesus, I have a feeling I should be protecting myself against the spiders and bigger things. I also don't know if I'm staying here though, but the analyzer seems super useful. It kind of seems a bit silly to, you know, move away from that. So I guess I will just stay here for now then, actually. Let's go ahead then. I'm going to assume that having it faced outwards is probably for the best. So let's just surround the perimeter, uh, mainly the analyzer, the little sciencey area that I'm at now. I really, really like this ability to place blueprints instead of like outright crafting. So many more survival games should really adopt just this feature, the ability to plan instead of, you know, outright... Uh, actually, how do I get rid of that one? Instead of outright placing everything down. I did see actually Valheim has a mod for that, so that's actually really handy. I can flip it around. That's really weird. So it's got like double the snap points of or double the rotation of everything else. Um, ew, that's kind of gross actually. That's really clunky. Right, well in that, ca in that case, oh, it's a good thing we got the plan thing. Oh, but now it'll give me precision turning. That's just really strange. Well, whatever then. Whatever. I'm learning. Go ahead then, I just place that down then. And I want this one to be quite high. Yes, just like that. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess I'm just gonna make it quite messy for now then. It's the first base, I suppose. Yeah, there's no point making it perfect. I think that'll do actually. Oh, there you go, that actually looks a bit better. <laughs> Watch it like, just look like it's awkwardly floating later. So I suppose this works. I should probably get rid of this bit here too. I guess that works for now then. Right, now I'm just gonna give myself a whole bunch of leaves. Not quite the epic base plan I had in mind, but with the lack of ceilings and stairs and um, basically just the majority of things, I don't really feel like I can do much with it right now. It'd be cool to have like some big multi-layered thing, but for the time being, I think just like a boundary would be a good start. Plus, to get the doors, I need weed stems, and I've not even seen a single one of those yet either. So, with all that being done, let's go ahead then. I've got tons of plant fibers now, I'm not really sure what to do with them. Oh, actually, I guess I could make a couple of ropes. Oh, there's a ladybird next to my base. Hello, I am not going to punch you this time. <laughs> as opposed to last time. But yeah, otherwise, as I go with all my crafting options, uh, the only things I can really make are decoratives. Such as lighting, but I need sap. Uh, I can't even make the tables yet, because I need a red ant parts. And the stuffed weevil and stuffed mites are basically just trophies, which is really cool. I, I love that kind of stuff so much. So I'm definitely making one of everything. But uh, otherwise, yeah, no, I can't really do anything. I need to find some new items. I just realised, have I broken whatever this is? Husky weed. No, so that's probably what I need for the door then. It requires higher tier tool. I wonder how you get higher tier tools. I feel like I'm missing something very significant. Is definitely not normal. By knowledge, peep a creature. Oh. Right there. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a spider. Well, that's good. I probably want to... Yep, there you go. I definitely probably want to peep on a orb weaver. Peep on an orb weaver. That's weird to say. Oh. That's a little aphid. Let's grab you. <laughs> I love how even his little icon is also just it looking scared. Are you, are you okay? What is wrong with you? I guess I'll put you out of your misery, or I can fall down instead. Hello there, buddy. Hello. Die. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, look at that. It's a lamp, or maybe even a fancy birdhouse. Definitely some kind of lamp. That's good to know. In fact, I can see quite a bit from up here. The big, what I'm guessing is a shrink ray. I mean, it kind of seems like one. That ladybird is ominously very still and I don't like it. Are you okay there, friend? 
Are you okay? I mean, you're definitely alive. And breathing. Kind of purring, actually. Oh, it's oddly adorable. Oh, that's new. Oh, grab you. Lava. Oh, it's a regular lava as opposed to the freaky, um... Oh, what was it? I like, mutated once I saw earlier? Can I kill you? Oh, well, you're definitely angry. Oh, Jesus, and you're fast. But you have a killable amount of health if I don't die. Oh, I'm definitely going to die, aren't I? Come on, kill it quickly, quickly, quickly. Ah! Apparently I can block, actually. No, but I can't block that. Oh, I, was cl I probably could have killed it, actually. I didn't think it would stop attacking for so long. I definitely could have killed that. <gasps> bee! It's a bee! It's a bee! Oh, that's all bees. It's a gnat. Oh, interesting. Oh, good. So it's still there. I wonder then, do they heal if, you, if they... Do they heal if they kill you? So I'd very much like to finish it off. Well, I say that, I can no longer find it. Oh, bugger. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. You, sir. No, you're a different one. You are definitely a different one. Well, you know what? I'm gonna play aggressive. Screw you. Ow. Oh. Come on, quickly. Quickly, 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 quickly. No, so close. Oh, but I'm out of stamina. Where'd you go? Oh, oh, okay. This is probably a bad idea. Actually, no. It's an ant. Come to help me. <gasps> yes, yes. <laughs> Killed it and his head fell off. I got lava spike. Oh, where the hell am I? Oh, it's a bee. Oh, so where am I? <gasps> Acorn. It brought me to acorns. Oh, I'm not going to find a screw, am I? I only just now realized how low health I'm on. I should probably deal with that. <laughs> Although I think anything could kill me at this point. I'm so vulnerable right now. Oh, I hear a signal. But I'm more interested in the items, to be honest. Yay! Another one of these lovely things. Grab all of that amazing sap. Oh, yeah. And I feel like that's also going to sort my acorn issues for quite a while. I've also got a whole bunch of um, meat, too, which is good because I am actually getting quite hungry. Though I can just eat the mushrooms. I think I eat the mushrooms. Oh, wow. Look at all this. And roses. Look at all of this. It's like a little pond. Little juice carton down there. Some big gorilla looking statue, if you will, over there. Wow, I can see a lot of them up here. So this is a cool little spot then. Got a couple more bees all hovering about. A lovely pond and a couple of lotus plants. Also have a whole bunch of flowers here, but I got a feeling that I can't interact with them yet, can I? Um, definitely, oh wait, actually, oh, the needle. Oh, I needed that for something. I can't remember what it was, but it was definitely something. Not sure if I can get any more, though, because where the leaves are means I can't really jump it. Oh, wait, there's something there. Okay, if I just, like, blindly hover over everything, that, that works too. Oh, I kind of do want to, maybe I should kill one, actually. Let's, let's give it a go, then. Oh, they're really weak. Okay, then. I feel bad attacking it, but I do know that there are uh, some, like, red worker ant parts I need. So it just kind of seems like, you know, a bit of an inevitable thing. And I lost it, because apparently there's collision with absolutely everything around here. Oh, no, it came back. It came back. Oh, hello. Well, that's unique. Hey, Come on, Aunt. grab you. Oh, oh. That is horrible. Let's see the new one found. Wolf spider. Ha, 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 ha. Mm. Where is it? There it is. Oh, there's a scale on it. Let's just wrap it up to five then, shall we? Oh, that. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, I don't actually like that either. Oh, that's freaky. Okay, let's try like a good three. That's still terrible. What? Four. That's. That, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> Hold on. So. <laughs> at zero, we've got giant, terrifying wolf spiders. At one, giant, terrifying wolf spiders. At two. <laughs> bro. Bro. And now they're orbs. And then they're giant balls of sap. That's. Oh, 
God, no, that's that's not good arachnophobia mode at all. That's horrible. Because I'm not going to know them. I'm not going to see them. That's crap. Well, the ant is uh, up to them. You're not going to like get them to attack me, are you? Oh, I guess you may as well turn it all the way down then. Oh, well, I actually did kind of change. Oh, now they're just creeping with sheep and lumps. Okay, it's when you're in like the menu. It doesn't fully update. Oh, okay, that's actually kind of neat. Ah! Oh my god! Why? Why are you floating? Why do you float? That's awful! That's, that's bad! That's... Hate it! Hate it, hate it, hate it! That is not helping the arachnophobia at all! Dude, I feel sabotaged! I swear, can it all be that you are still here? Crap, I was just about to say. Well, I think I can probably grab my stuff and flee quickly. Uh, or go in here. This looks important. It's locked. Unfortunate. Oh, it's right down there. I'm, I'm legit just gonna flee. Oh my god, though, that f bloody... Oh, the spiders. Yeah, definitely not a fan of their version of arachnophobia. I mean, it's considerate that they added it in. It's very, very considerate. A lot of games don't. But that one just doesn't do it for me. All right. Well, in any case, I'm finally back to base. Uh, sufficiently freaked out after that ordeal. And I've got lots and lots of new things to scan. I've got loads of new things to scan. All right, then. Well, first of all, before I do absolutely anything, the thing I really, really want the most is definitely going to be that shovel, as I think that will enable me to do much, much more. Now let's try scanning, say, the acorn bits. Boost juice. Interesting. Oh, and I got level two recipes, which includes a new set of armor from the red ants. So I really do have to start killing them then, don't I? <laughs> Whoops. Let's also try the raw aphid meat. I can get stuffed aphid and aphid slippers. Fantastic. Lava spike. Lava head mount liquid rage lava blade. Oh, wow. Right, I'm gonna wait for my next bit of recipes then. So why was the lava blade read it out? Oh, because I don't have everything for it yet. I see I need some grub hide and acid glance. Oh. I also need acid glance to make some of the uh, red ant stuff, or at least some of it, yeah. Boost juice using aphid meat, mushrooms and acorn bits will give me a boost to my maximum stamina. And the liquid rage from spider fangs and red ant mandibles means I'll do more damage. Yikes. Okay then, so as useful as all that is in the end, um, I actually can't really utilize anything. Yeah, I think it's just a grab hide I need. So now that I finally have the shovel, I can, I can look into getting all that other stuff as well. Okay, I can scan one more thing then. Let's try the acorn top. Oh, sap catcher, smoothie station, spinning wheel, acorn fence, and garden patch. Okay, that one was significant. And I just got another charge. Let's try the acorn shell. Oh, wow. Acorn armor, storage chest, water container, sign frame, and a grinder. Okay, this one's really sick. And I've still got one more item to grind afterwards as well. Yeah, okay, so I really stand corrected then. There actually is quite a few things I can get. If I can get a bunch of clover leaves. Uh, got all the sap and might fuzz, which I think I actually have as well. How much resistance does this give me? It's better than the red ant stuff. Oh, the red ants give me hauling strength, whereas the acorn stuff gives me major threat. I'm very concerned about that. I don't know what that means. Oh, chunky leg protection crafted from the shards of acorn that insects that find delicious. <laughs> How about a big fat noob? Garden patch requires a weed stem. Smoothie station, which creates a drink to restore health or provide various side effects. I cannot get grub sludge. Water container. I can actually make that one. Hmm, that's pretty cool, actually. I'm going to go ahead and just chuck that there, then. I'm assuming I have to bring water to it. Does it rain in this game? I actually don't know. Um, probably using the canteen. The canteen? Nope, grub hide, of course. Okay, then. So, ultimately, I'm just going to need to go find some grubs, I think. They seem to be the thing that's locking me behind a lot of stuff. I was a fool to have ever doubted myself. A fool like Klein, like Kaminsky, like Schmechter, like all of Ominent. I am here in the backyard. Down in the backyard. I mean, I am speaking to you from the backyard. I am tiny!
I should gather my thoughts. This is a momentous occasion. Wendell Tolley official log 89.08.05. Recording as I take my first steps into the miniature world. The sights are unbelievable. The textures, the, the way the light falls upon every surface, the subtle patterns in all of the objects that surround me, the grass. Even common lawn grass looks like a structure from an alien world. Wait. What's that sound? The very earth is trembling. Over there, what could it be? An ant! My god, today, the world has changed forever! Huh. Okay, so, I obviously uh, forgot to pick that up in this playthrough so far then. That was interesting. He had a lot more to say that time, it didn't, like, glitch out. Oh, wow. I feel sorry for the guy when he inevitably finds a spider. In fact, I think he built his base next to a bunch of spiders, so, you know, unlucky mate. Oh god, it's one of those giant things again, not the larvae. Oh, no, 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 oh, well, you're on me now, aren't you? Fine, fine, let's do this. Oh, I blocked it! Hello? Can I do it again? Oh, no, right, it lifts his butt, oh my god, you're like triple attacking, what the hell? Oh, what is more, I'm dead. Oh, no, I tried spamming block to see if I can RNG it. Did not work. No, bugger off you. Screw, screw off. Oh, what the hell is you? Oh, it is. Yay. Oh, there's bloody mites everywhere. Let me just get my stuff back, please. Right. More than one lipstick. They call pass. Whew. Looks like it's all still here. Yeah. Damn you. But well, somehow I didn't get caught. Thank goodness. Oh, spider. Great. I'm having a really hard time. Oh, finding one of those burrowing things. Oh, not ideal. Not ideal. Oh, there's another one. There's two of them. Over there, behind the ladybug. Are they like... What's going on over there? They're like mating? That one to my left. What is going on there? Like all interacting, kinda, or they're just like webbing up the area. Ooh, don't like. It looks like they're guarding something. Finally, I found all the burrowing things. And where's my shovel? Right there, number five. Come here, you little grub. What should be like this really angry, deadly thing? Cries chopping tool. No. Oh, ooh. Oh, die. Ooh, gross. So I got hide, sludge, and meat. Well. At least when you finally find one, it's actually quite profitable. <laughs> it's creepy. Yeah. Okay, that was like, what, four of them? I think I just got. Is there any more around? No? Okay, I think I'm done. I'm going to mark this area uh, in case they respawn here. I really hope they do. that make my life so much easier. Oh, they're also up north. Okay, that's good to know then. Right, and here we are back home once again. Let's go ahead and scan everything. Or just two items. That just makes it easier then. Oh, nothing. Thanks. Okay, what about the sludge? Nothing either. That is fantastic. Thank you so much. Right, well, in that case. Um, right, in that case, what can I actually make? So I can make all the grub armor, but I'm not sure I want to do that just yet. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of other things I could make first, such as at the canteen. From the beginning, I can make a uh, gnat fuzz. Oh, I've seen a gnat, but I couldn't kill it. Um, oh, but I can make a weevil shield. Yeah, all right then. Let's go quickly kill a couple of weevils. Let's also kill this red worker ant, because I really feel like I need to kill one. Oh, but they're really fast. Come back. The last one invaded the crap out of me, and I can't... Yeah, it's, it's gone. They're really wily. My god, the amount of mites over there grows. And this is looking... Radioactive? Oh! Oh no, not one of you! No! Jesus! So, I know I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, but damn, this game really is quite savage and I'm only like in the brand spanking new early game. This is brutal. Still though, I do enjoy a challenge. 
Okay then, so I think that should be all the meat that I needed then for the shield. I do believe. Let's go take a quick little look. Yep, that is everything. There is a ant in my base. Surely I can kill you then. Come on before you escape. <gasps> I killed it. Finally, I killed one. But this was going to kill me though. Grab you quickly. At least loot the item first. Ah, uh, stamina. <gasps> no. Come back, come back, come back. No, come back. I can't learn how to throw my damn... Oh, wait. Oh, it's Huck. <gasps> There's someone behind me. No. <gasps> no. Wrong button. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> I really need practice with that. Oh. They're like kind of mourning it, I think. Are you the high... You're the low... Uh, you're the high health one. That's the corpse. Oh, so they all surround their corpses. Oh, that's really interesting. Okay, but the one with low health definitely ran off. Right, well, at least I got something. Yeah, I got, okay, at least I got something. I got a part, so let's go ahead and scan that. And with that, I learned a chair and a club. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, I got a whole bunch of ants here now. What the hell? They're having a conversation in my place. Bro. You say powerless, mate, but I just probably wrecked you a couple of times. Oh god. Also, meanwhile, um, I ran out of- oh, whoopsie. I ran out of uh, clovers, so I can't fully repair my armor either. Well, I got most of it at least. But yes, otherwise, after all of that, let's go ahead then, finally get my shield I've been after. And how does that work then? Can I dual wield this as well? Oh, I can. Oh, lovely. That is ideal. And otherwise, after all of that faffing about, it would seem that I still cannot make a higher tier of armor or weapons, and therefore I can't harvest any of the, uh, like the stems, for example. And I also don't have any new building parts either, or building structures, and the ones I do have, such as the grinder, I can't afford to make because I haven't killed things like gnats, so I am definitely feeling a little bit stuck. I did have that one item, what was it? Yeah, this stuff here, the brittle quartzite. It seems useful for one thing, upgrading weapons. How do I do that? Well, whatever it is, I cannot find out yet. So in the end, I was very lost in how to progress moving forward. However, I really did not want to look it up. I really wanted to try and figure it out myself. So I decided to go farm some clovers since I needed it to repair my armor and I found a gnat in the process and just decided to try and wing it. And turns out you can throw rocks and hit flying insects. However, I didn't have enough rocks. Eventually, it did fly low enough that I could kill it with my spear. So I finally got the gnat fuzz. In the process, as I was trying to hit the gnat, I also discovered a dandelion. And turns out that is the thing I needed for my weed stems, which is full of door among other structures. So I went out, made a weed stem pallet, and brought it with me and farmed tons of weed stems. And when I did an analysis of the weed stems, it unlocked a whole bunch of what I'd consider wood tier structures. After that, I moved on to try farm some more acorns and came across a spider. And while keeping an eye on it, I found another hut, though I didn't investigate it just yet. Didn't want to do it, you know, without actually being here talking. I also took a dive into the pond to see if I could get the petals from the lotus flowers. Turns out I could not. But I did find a tadpole, which I was able to kill and get its meat. Which, as it turns out, is good for making decoy bait to distract larger predators. However, I don't have enough to actually use it yet. I did also find a couple of flower petals in the same area I got those thistle spines. And then a while later when I tried to find more petals, I found a Orb Weaver Junior and I'm thinking, oh, it's a baby spider. I can kill that one. Um, no, no, the, the juniors are very, very scary as well. And that brings me back to where we are right now. So I've done a lot of resource farming. I've uh, also reorganized some of my structures a little bit more. And I've made a bunch of progress on things such as the garden patch, the spinning wheel, grinder, uh, smoothie station. I've also learned a little bit about the uh, general bug AI in this game. But funny what you notice when you actually you know, stop commentating and actually play the game <laughs> and pay attention. Such as how ants keep coming to my base to get my food. So that is something I'm going to try utilizing and trapping in the future. Speaking of trapping, I'm gonna try doing more traps as well. It's a bit tricky without having like any kind of sloped uh, roofing or ceiling or whatever, but still though, I've got a couple of methods in mind. I also have a theory that the acorn armor, now on the one hand, it's a lot of armor, which is fantastic, but on the other hand, it's a major threat. I'm assuming creatures will attack me. 
Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I want them to attack me so that I can actually reach them, such as the gnats. It should make farming gnats much easier. So I'm gonna play around with all that in the next episode because I think this one's kind of going on long enough by now. Uh, I think I can also finally make the bow as well, the sprig bow. Uh, right, I need more gnat fuzz, so there you go then. If I can make the acorn armor, if my theory is correct, when they'll come and attack me, then fantastic. I've also discovered something I've been neglecting, and that is data, such as what creatures are weak against, such as the orb weavers, they are resistant against stabbing. No wonder I've been struggling. And also the fact that weak points are a thing, such as eyes, so that, that's really neat. So yes, overall, I figured out a lot, but I also need to figure out even more, and I'll be doing all that in the next episode. I've also found two points of interest that I completely missed, so I'll be looking over those in the next episode as well. Actually, three. Three points of interest. I hope my newbiness isn't too frustrating, but as you can see, I certainly am trying. It's really fun, like, just playing a new game, like, organically and experiencing it and just trying to learn from it. I really do enjoy that part of games. I don't mind making a couple of mistakes because I like learning from them. And this one is really testing me. This game is harder than I expected. Though, again, I am playing on a woe difficulty, but still, but still, it's more than I expected, which is great. I am loving it. So, I will see you all next time. Thank you all so much for making it this far. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. Cheers.